Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in the actual 1.19 public server. We have now updated to 1.19.3. I don't know if I've mentioned that in the past video. There are some new things with a 1.19.3 release. So if we quickly just open up a cosmetic menu, there were some new cosmetic types that were added to this actual plugin. There is now Death Effects, which has a, uh, obviously if you get one of these, then you can have a effect when you die. There's also projectile effects, which when you shoot projectiles like arrows or snowballs, you can actually choose the trail that gets taken with it. And then there is a super, super rare actual chance for you to be able to unlock flight, which what that means is you'll be able to do the command. I can actually do it due to me being a mod, but you can actually toggle by doing slash fly and then you can fly like in creative mode but you have to unlock it it's not something that everybody has access to straight away so how you actually unlock the flying is you have to claim treasure chests and when you claim these there is a i think 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 percent chance to actually get flight and to actually get keys you just need to do the command slash rewards and then you can claim these there's one that you can claim every day one that you can claim every week and one that you can claim every month let's now quickly just open a few chests so we've got a silverfish pet a eternal portal a hat for frog a hat for popcorn so we just done it again and we got a pig mount and a few other things that you can see right there i won't go through them all you guys can pause if you want to see what we actually ungot what we got not what we ungot we still have five keys left so let's quickly just do that and we actually got a shout out which is something that is it there was a bug meaning that was like super common but that should now be the same rarity as everything else and we got blaze pet that's actually i think kind of cool and we also got a creeper bet. I have actually just came into the base and we do have a gift right here from Neverite, which these totems are actually going to be really useful today. There is also a warden head, which is really cool. I'm going to put that down and I think the totems are going to be really useful. I am going to put the Neverite in there because I don't want to lose that. Same with the warden head and the catalyst because today my plan is that we have actually got a blaze pet. My plan today is to actually go to the end and hopefully hunt for an elytra because we currently don't have an elytra. So we are now in the end and I'm pretty sure the end was reset. I reset it about a week or two ago and I'm not too sure how many people have come into the end since and looted because I'm like 99% sure before I reset it. How do we actually work this thing? Uh, I'm 99% sure before I reset it, the actual like 90% of end cities within the world border had been looted. So I had to resell it for new people to actually be able to get Elytra. And this path is so confusing. I think I'm just going to end pearl it. Hopefully that makes it. It did. So let's now quickly just head up here. I don't actually know where an end gateway is. I'm guessing this is one up here. And I'm pretty sure this up here is one of them duplicators for villager trading. I don't know if going through that is going to break anything, but I can't seem to see any other gateways to get out. Okay, there is one over there. I'm going to go through that one over there just because I don't want to break whatever that is. If I remember correctly, I think that's one of them things that I almost looked at. Oh, I did look at the Enderman. I think that's one of them things where you actually go through the gateway as you trade with the villager or a villager and it basically does it so the villager trades never reset or never lock up so you can basically keep trading we are going to get knocked off here and we did can I end about back I can this pesky enderman needs to get out of it I don't know why my blaze is shooting maybe I need to disable the blaze I think it might be bugged because we're inside of the end I'm not too sure it's actually setting fire ouch it's hit me I did also have a plan to do something different today but i sadly can't get it to work or i didn't have enough time to record it because it's something that's going to take quite a lot of time to record and i couldn't find enough time to get it finished in time so that will have to be hopefully next week if not the week after and i now guess it's just running across den cities until we actually find a or running across end islands until we find an end city so there's actually a gadget called if eternal i think that is pearl and what you can basically do this is you can glide with it so as you can see i can do that and that didn't really work out very well did it that didn't turn out at all 
But luckily we keep our stuff due to there being a plugin on the server. That means if it, it can't find a suitable place to place a chest with your items in, you won't lose anything, which is really good. So you won't ever lose items. It's with the void if it can't find a safe block, like if you fall into the void. And it's also the same with lava. If you're in like a big pit of lava and it can't find a suitable block, then it will just put you back respawned with your inventory. Looks like we have some sort of sand duplicator here because there's just a chest full of sand. There is also another chest, which I want to see what is in these. Is this like an obsidian farm, I guess? No, that's more sand. What about them ones over there? Is that obsidian or is that sand? Okay, so it is all just sand farms. I think that's done just by pushing the fallen entity into the actual portal. I thought some of it could be obsidian because you can actually farm this obsidian by breaking it and when something, either an entity or an item teleports through, it does actually reset. So I thought maybe that's what that was, but it seems like it's just a falling block farm instead. I think there's a way you can actually cheese this end bell. You can actually throw it. And as it's carrying you, if you don't quite make it, you can actually just use another end bell to make it out a little bit more. Which, there is a cooldown, but I think if you actually throw the end bell, the cooldown instantly gets cancelled out. Due to, I think, the game gets confused on what this end bell is. And there is an end city right here with a ship. Now, the question is, has it been looted? I'm hoping it hasn't. We could actually maybe just fly up to it. Although, I don't want to risk it because we would probably die. We could glide our way over here, though, I guess. One thing I could quickly just do is enable the gadget of... What one was it? There was one here that done damage to mobs and strike players and mobs. Yeah, this one. So, how much damage does this do? If I shoot it, let's shoot it there. Wait, did that instantly... No, it didn't kill it. So, I don't know if it does actually do damage or if it's just like a cosmetic. Um, Did it do damage? Is it doing damage? I don't think it is. So, now's the time to check to see if this has been looted. Uh, that's chests that look like they haven't. But it did look very empty and like someone had just come here and took all like diamond gear out. But that could just be it weren't lucky enough to have diamond gear. So let's quickly, I guess, get out of this structure, or at least this part of it. And let's quickly just, let's see, where is the end ship? It's over there. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's now maybe see if this does do damage. Yeah, that didn't look like it done any damage to the actual shulker. So let's quickly just do this again and enable the end pearl gadget again. And we need to be careful right here. Because we have actually run out of food. Okay, I actually made it into this place, which is the ship. So I could actually quickly just cheese it and do slash set home. Uh, and then do it as ship. And I think that's what I'm going to do. You've reached the maximum number of homes. That sucks. It looks like I can't do this. And okay, let's just grab the elytra just in case we do die. And this was one that was reset due to the actual elytra being on the floor. It's a bug when you reset the structures. The game don't know how to handle it. So it just throws the actual elytra on the floor. That's actually not a bad sword. It's the same as ours. It's just got knockback and sharpness more. I quickly just want to head to spawn just to see if anyone is selling food because I'm out of food and I don't have any more. So that saddles. That isn't food. Is there any food in here? Because I did set this up in the last video and I know people have been using it. There is some beetroot. Uh, there don't look to be any food in here. There isn't. Okay. Uh, is this got anything in it now? This was built by Jonathan, I think. And when we checked it last time, it didn't seem to have anything built in it. Well, I'm now inside of an old base of someone's. I can't exactly remember whose this is. But it looks to be destroyed. I don't know why it's destroyed. I don't know if this is intentional. But it seems to be... Okay, so everything's gone. So I'm guessing they've maybe moved out. Okay, no, not everything's gone. There is still quite a lot of stuff in some of these actual chests. But yeah, as you can see, everything just seems to be ripped out and removed. I don't know why that is. Let's maybe see if we can maybe find where it's been moved to. Okay, so it seems like this may be Dub00's base because this sign is written by Dub. Okay, so Dub has actually asked me to build something in this area. I don't actually know where to build it though. Is this something right here? Because it seems to be slabbed off. Okay, there is. There's stuff like hidden everywhere here. I have no clue where I've got this. all these tools from. I'm really confused. Some weird things are going on on the server. 
But anyway, I think that is where I'm going to end this video. It is going to be a lot shorter than most videos. And there is very lack of detail in it. But that's just because I'm recording this last minute. Because I thought I would have the other video ready. But I don't. So this is going to go out instead. And the other video that I had planned will go out sometime hopefully next week. But anyway, if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.